Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Seven Days to Die. Darkness Falls here on day 69, dude! Yeah, that's right. We didn't do anything tonight, kind of organized my inventory, broke down a few things that I need to, moved some mods around so I have a little bit of space. And we're going to continue looting. Okay, sounds like a small little gathering. Uh, anything in here worth getting? Skullcap mod. Uh, you know what? Hang on, let me see if I don't think I can do this. No, I didn't mean to do that. Stupid. I was trying to click on modify. Put you on there. Bam. Now I have a space. Then that's worth something. Are y'all coming upstairs? Hang on. I should probably at least check to make sure that the local riffraff aren't coming in after me. Okay, I'm in an area that's not right next to the front door. Okay, we got to continue on looting this place and see if we can't find some good stuff. Uh, we didn't find really a lot of great stuff in the main loot at all. It was actually... Did I just open a... Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. That was absolutely worth all the effort for. I'm glad I didn't have to use a lock pick on that. It was just me beating a hole in it. All right. So I need to check over here real quick before I head down. Make sure there's nothing I'm missing over here. Got a medical pile in the corner with some more generic schematics and some shell. Check. 35 is not a lot, but 35 will give you a decent chunk. I'm going to scrap that. I'll take this. Hello? Oh, holy crap. Oh, dang. Don't puke on me, Carl. Why, oh why? Don't blow up on me, man. <laughs> Dude got the click. I need to make sure some stuff is reloaded. I moved some dies over to some of these guns so that I'd have space in my inventory. <laughs> I forgot to check if those reloaded. He got the old clickaroo, man. We, it's a good way to cause some pucker right there. Okay, what was I looking at? Lucky looters. Those are plus tens. I can sell those. Overalls suck. I can scrap those. I don't even remember what I was doing. Oh, I think I moved that over to there. Okay, are we cool for a second? That's not cool if the first thing that shows up is the cops. Oh, my God! Ugh. Uh. <laughs> hey, look, it's a bar. It's a zombie bar. Okay, so he's taking a little bit of damage. See if we can get a couple shots in the butt talks before he accidentally figures out how to get in here. Because uh, I'm hoping that he doesn't figure it out. One more good shot in the butt talks, and that buyer is dead. Okay, so, think, is there just one? I'm going to close this door. That door is closed, so if nothing else, maybe it'll at least slow him down. Okay, so we had quite the gathering deciding to show up overnight, or this morning. They didn't do anything last night. I don't know where all of this idiotcy is coming from, but I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, let's see, scrap you, scrap you. Let's see if there's anything good in the old kitchen here. So far, it's been okay. But yeah, so far we haven't really encountered anything that's just fantastic as far as loot goes in this entire school. We didn't really get much of anything. It was okay at best. Uh, other than we forgot what the word oven means or stove. Now that could be useful if we need to haul some bollocks. Uh, we're going to get this. Okay, so there's something I did want to discuss. And it's not really discuss, but I'm just kind of talking out loud. I guess that is discussing. All right, so as far as quests and stuff go, we got to go turn this in, and we have the stag party. I don't know if I go back over to Eve and try and turn in the uh, the thingy, the, the reward quest. I mean, I already turned it in, so I don't know if I go back over there if she's going to have anything else for me. You know what I mean? I had some people telling me that no, since I turned it into what's-his-face over there right next to where I was at that it's not going to count for anything and I pretty much lost out on opportunity to get some more stuff from Eve. But then I had other people saying that yes you could, it kind of just depends. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I need to go over there or not. It's a long dang ways over there to potentially get a whole lot of bubkis. Oh yeah, I agree. I'm right there with you. You know, I'm gonna close. Never mind, there's not a door here to close. What about over here? Have y'all made it upstairs yet? It definitely sounds like there's a, a ruckus downstairs. I'll scrap you. I guess I'll scrap you just for the experience of scrapping stuff. Okay, so this is how we get back onto the roof, which we do need to get to, because I know there's some stuff up there we didn't get. Or, But first, it's time to head back to the Stadium of Awesomeness, where once a month we stop and take a moment to say thank you for those members of Cap Nation that go above and beyond in helping support the channel, whether it be through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Links to both of those are in the video description down below if you would like to join. 
This is just a moment where we say thank you by uh, showing off the names on the boards of the existing members and pinpointing the new members here so everybody can see them and know how much I truly, truly appreciate you guys helping me get one step closer each month to my goal of being able to do this full time. So stop flapping my word hole and let's get over to the YouTube members board first. As usual, what I'll do is I'll kind of scroll up a little bit slowly here so everybody can have a chance to see their names who are existing supporters. And we'll welcome the new members here. We have Mary Hanna, Is Gunner, and Shane Boggs have joined the list over here. Thank you very, very much. Glad to have you here. The awesomeness board has not changed from last month. We haven't gained nor lost anybody, and I appreciate everybody who's still sticking around over here. Thank you very much for the support there, too. And the astoundingness board is, remains the same as well. Thank you to everybody who's hanging out over here. I do appreciate your monthly support. Truly, truly do appreciate it. The fabtabulous board, we have a couple names up at the very top we're going to get to. I want to make sure everybody can see their name for the existing supporters over here and know that I appreciate that. This month, we welcome Dave's Venture and Semicolon has joined the ranks. So thank you both very much for joining them and everybody else on the board as well. The Deep Pockets board remains the same as last month, and I truly appreciate the support. Thank you so much for everybody on this list. You guys rock. And on to the Silver Spoon board, the big board. This is our top tier supporters, and we're going to scroll up here so everybody can see their name. We are welcoming Bonded Draconis, Doug Johnson, Mrs. Jombie Zumps has returned as a supporter. Thank you. I'm glad to have you back. Zombie Slugger 87 has returned, and Combat Cobra Wolf has joined the ranks over here as well. Thank you both. Glad to have you over here. And that is it for this month. Truly thank you to everybody who's here. Special thanks to Angel for helping me keep these updated. I'm glad you know to have her around and help me keep these going because it does take a little while. So thank you to everybody who is supporting me. Know that I truly, truly do appreciate that. And let's get back to the video. Uh, let me see. I guess I'm going to have to do the old nerd polling here if i can do it without having to do another one that would just be great but it looks like i'm gonna have to okay anything respawn that i need to shoot before i climb out of this hole no okay no maybe no let's not fall down in here i just want to peek in here real quick all right there is one of the things that i did want to uh, bring up it has nothing to do with pretty much anything but it's something that i think is kind of important over the course of doing YouTube stuff and being able to grow an audience, I have had a lot of people tell me that I am what some people would consider a influencer. I don't agree with that assessment. I don't really think of myself as an influencer. don't even really like being referred to as an influencer because it seems to have uh, implications as to responsibilities to things. You know what I mean? I'm an entertainer. That's that's where my thing is here. I feel like I'm an entertainer, and I feel like I'm a pretty decent one most of the time. But if I was going to try and influence anybody to do anything, the one thing that I would say to people that I hope that they would follow my lead with, if, if you get what I'm saying, is don't consider anybody below you. And that's anywhere in life. And I'll be a little bit of a motivational speaker here for a second. And uh, in the YouTube space, you will encounter people that just absolutely refuse to talk to you if you have less subscribers than them or something along those lines, you know. Uh, I'm going to put a couple things in there I definitely don't need on me just to save some space here. And that's not something I've ever done. I've never considered anybody, regardless of what their subscriber count, to be less than me or better than me just because they may have more or they may have less. Uh, if you've been around me for very long, if you've been on my channel, you know that. I I respond to comments. I talk to everybody. I don't care what your subscriber count is. Um, and when it comes to like helping smaller channels, I don't see it as, a, oh, I'm only going to do collabs and stuff with people that can help me. I've done collabs with, actually, the vast majority of collabs I've ever done has been with channels that were, quote, unquote, smaller than me. I don't consider people to be below me. Or above me. I don't care what your follower count is or, you know, oh, you've got 10 million followers on Twitter. Congratulations. You're just a regular person like just the rest of us. 
And I've never had the mentality of treating other people differently because of that. And so that's my one big message to people is treat everybody the same regardless of whether they can do something for you or whether they are brand new to a situation or whatever the situation is in life is that you're not high enough for anybody to be below you no matter what your thing is. So that that's my message to everybody. If And I hope that makes sense. I uh, I talk to a lot of YouTubers that are brand new. Uh, you know, I'll review videos and stuff of theirs that, you know, this is their very first upload. They want me to take a look at it. I'm not somebody that's special enough to warrant to be like, oh, well, you know, I'm only going to, I'm not going to get anything for this. Why would I want to spend the time doing that? There are far too many YouTubers out there of varying different sizes. And I'm not, I'm not pointing at anybody so I don't think this is in reference to a specific person but there are far too many youtubers out there that do not talk to their viewers at all they don't read through their comments they barely respond to anything they have a truck ton of people following them on uh, Twitter or Instagram and they don't ever respond to them they don't like any of their tweets they don't it, having a massive gathering of people having a massive number of people following you and not interacting with them is kind of pointless. I, I don't do that, and I'm not saying the way I do things is perfect. You, you know, you do you, basically, of course, but don't um, don't spend your time thinking down on people that can't offer you something. If you got a new follower on Twitter and they have two subscribers or they have two followers and they're brand new to the game of social media, extend an arm to them. You know, extend a hand to them. Say, hey, what's going on? You know, hope is there anything I can do to help you out? That sort of thing. And that's. We in life will do a lot better if we can lift one another up rather than put somebody else down just because of our perceived ideas of their status, basically, if that makes any sense at all. So I'll stop with the whole preachy preachy stuff, but I just wanted to take a moment to, you know, if I'm going to be an influencer, there you go, I'll influence you to treat people equally regardless of, uh, hey Kyle, what's up? Yeah, let me help you out with that. So, there you go. There's there's my influential moment of the day. Uh, the more you know. That sort of thing. Anyway, let's get back into zombie killing. We're making our way through here. After we finish with this school, we're going to head back over to the old trader. Turn it in, see if he's got any good wares for us. Probably not. We have not found much here. We've got a decent chunk of stuff to sell, and that's it. That That is all that we've really amassed from this entire thing is just a bunch of crap that we can sell, which I, we need the money for, so it's not terrible. Uh, did you have anything here? Crappy shoes with some dye and a crappy shirt. I'll, I'll take the crappy shoes. If nothing else, I can probably... Okay, so that goes out in the backyard. Backyard, back door, whatever. I'm not searching any more lockers, except for this one. Some more glasses I could sell, a shirt I don't need the cloth for. I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, so we came down the stairs. Let's peek our head in some of these rooms because we didn't get anything in any of these. So this way we can at least see. Nice. I got a safe over there. Maybe there's some money in there. Go ahead, take the paper, something to the desk. A cigar. Ah, I already have one. Oh, uh, yeah, I already have one. Let's let's use our handy dandy lock pick and get inside here. I love this thing, man. And generic rifle stock. Woo! Yeah, see, we're just not really getting much of anything. I mean, experience is about the only thing that we can say we walked out of here with, with a little bit of things that we can sell. And that's that kind of blows, honestly. Kind of blows real bad, the fact that we're getting a whole heck of a lot of nothing here. We got some ammo. That's, that's really about the extent of anything that we've walked away with is just ammo. Uh, well, I thought that was some sort of like military protection tank top. I was like, I'm not sure how that would even work. But you know, if you can if you can be bulletproof in a tank top, then well, you're a pretty ba. I can't believe we had a bear in the school. Farming tips. I think my farm. You know what? Hang on. I need to check both of these real quick because I think reloading weekly and farming tips. Let me see where both of those are at as far as skill points go. Reloading weekly is at four oh four uh, four oh four and Farming tips is as well, so I can scrap both of those. Okay, I thought I could, but I wanted to double check before I bothered. Nothing else in here. Nothing else up there. Guess I'll check this one locker. I'm not taking either of those. Not happening. 
Uh oh, oh, okay. See glowing green around the corner up there and it makes you kinda... Oh, you got exploded, lady. Anybody else? I... Frank, what's up, dude? You are a gassy, gassy man. You need some Tums. Sylvia! See, I knew she was in here. I mentioned in the last video that she had to have been in here somewhere. Got a little sneaky damage. Okay, Frank. Whoa, hold cow, dude. That's a good way to hurt an ankle. You are too big to be jumping like that, man. That That is a good way to absolutely ruin your whole day. Maybe he's the bus driver. Oh, the sword is B.A. Totally B.A. All right, before we get ready to head home, I want to show you guys real quick what the mods I put on this sword. Look at all those. I got Flaming Mod, I got Fortifying Grip, Hunter Mod, Structural Brace Mod, Tempered Blade Mod, and it's white. So, yeah. Now, the one thing that I do have to uh, be not really concerned with, but have to pay attention to, is when it comes time to repair this bad boy, I don't know what my melee, and I'm not sure if the sword counts as melee or if it counts as um, stabbing weapons or whatever the other thing is, you know, um, for the skill, because if your skill's not high enough and you repair something, it loses some of its, yeah, we're going to park you right there. Did I put anything in there? It loses some of its integrity, basically, or its leveling. What? What? Let me on the bike. There we go. Dang it. Try <laughs> I accidentally parked it like a moron and I couldn't get back on it. Okay, let's try this again. You got anything I can sell? You and you, I can sell. We cleared for a second. Look at them big friggin' trees, man. It's like a tree on top of a tree. I don't know why those are growing so extremely tall compared to normal trees, but those are growing with a twist in them. So anyway, um, I don't know, again, going back to the concept of the reward is if there's anything over there. I, I don't want to drive all the way down there and her have nothing. You know what I mean? All right, let's see what he says is mean to me. Like a lounge to you. <sighs> yeah, it kind of does. Ammo, I definitely don't need splint, muffled oh, connectors mod, iron good. sledgehammer. AP762 ammo, is it's not bad, but I don't really need it right at the moment. I mean, it kind of sort of would be okay, but nah. How much? Oh, a thousand. I'm taking you. Yeah. Okay, let me sell a whole bunch of stuff to him real quick. Well, we didn't get a lot from him, but we can check and see what he has because we didn't come back over here to see what he had after we did the others. Well, other than just having a bunch of like kinds of That's ammo, right. Do the math. he don't really have anything that I want, so we're not going to worry about that. Oh, hey, there's Lois. Somebody left the door open. Was it you? Hey, you. She's not going to be talking much lately. I need to put a door back on there. Another lo I just got rid of you. How did you do that? Like David Copperfield. I cut your head off in a ditch and I come out the door and you're standing there looking at me. It's magic. I'm going to drop off a decent chunk of the stuff I have over here. Oh, oh, oh that's what I was going to do. Oh, yeah, I need to go ahead and use the red notes I have to um, make sure there's nobody in the house with me. I have enough to be able to make the holy crap at science or something like that. But let me drop off some things real quick. I don't need clear out my inventory just a smidge. All right, good to go. Let's see, I take the shale over here, make some gas can, need some wood. No, there's enough wood in there. Mix. All right, that'll give me a decent chunk of that stuff. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of this because I know I need it. I need a quill, probably need some ink. What? Well, I need it over here. Let's see for yay science or whatever it's called. Uh, where's it at? What? It's called something. Is it technology? The future is now. That's what it's called. Okay. Research notes. I have enough paper. I left that behind. I need one more thing. Ink. And I've got plenty of quills. So for ink, I need two eggs, black dye, and a jar of honey. I think I have enough stuff to do that real quick. Two eggs black dye and a jar of honey which the black dye I don't think I have but I think with or not black dye black ink okay black dye there we go all right I need you to do this real quick ink go ahead and mix one of those that won't take but just a second got 350 units of gas and future is now okay oh yeah the, duh, the paper did I leave any up here so I can save me a trip I sure did Future is now. Okay, so this is what's going to teach me the laser technology. Now, I'm afraid 
I'm really nervous about this one because somebody had told me that you need to be in like a level 180 or something crazy like that to be able to um, make laser weapons. And I know that if I'm going into any of the more difficult places and I need like a laser weapon, that I'm going to be SOL basically. Well, let me take this real quick while it's doing its thing. Use this to repair this. Bam. 58. It's not much, but it's better than it was. Put you back on here. Our wonderful lockpick is amazing. Okay, let's see here. You. Okay, this book will teach you how to make it. Use. Okay, now, so, did that unlock the this over here? Technology. That is not that right there. Technology crafting. So I, did, I, did I, is it the laser, hold on, let me see here, I'm trying to figure out what this actually, whoops, if I spelled laser right, laser sight mod, laser pistol, so I need technology crafting, that's this right here, did I do that wrong? Hang on, um, let me, let me see this now, the future is now, I did this, okay, so, Folks are working on laser technology for the puppetry. This book to teach you how to make it. Crafting area on the writing desk. Well, obviously I did that. Okay. Okay. So for laser, nothing is unlocked. Like a laser pistol per se. Technology crafting here. Laser multi-tool. I have to have a laser multi-tool. Where the hell is that at? I don't even... Oh, right here. Okay, so technology crafting... Uh, you need to have a... Wait a second here. Did I... Did I do something wrong? Player level 100? Is that what it is? It's just I have it unlocked, but uh, my level requirements aren't there. So technology crafting to be able to get here. Player level 100. Oh, that hurts. Ugh. Physical conditioning. 120 friggin' 5. 125, gotta go fast, 125. Okay, so let's show you where we are. We're at 71, so we have 29 levels to go before we can even do the very basic thing. Holy crap, 1,763 kills, 73 player kills, only two deaths, but we got those a long time ago, so we barely count those. Dang it, that's just straight up dang it, man. Wait, are you still cooking? You don't have anything to cook here. I should probably take you with me. That's a, that's a big old hefty bummer right there. I, I'm not a fan of that. I was worried about that. I did say that before I even started, that I was really worried that some people had said, hey, by the way, it's going to take you a level 1,000 to use any of this stuff. And, well, you weren't wrong, so let's put it that way. Is this what I can eat without... You know, I'll go ahead and just use one of those real quick, get the food back up. I've got some sandwiches and stuff. Well, bollocks. Straight up bollocks. So we are a long... Oh, excuse me, long ways from being able to make anything from the laser thing so if our next from what somebody told me if the next place we're going to go is some bunker in the wasteland or the next major bunk we have to do is terrible and i need a laser weapon we're not going to get there it's not going to happen so feel free to fill the comments with suggestions of how to subvert that little hurdle in the meantime let's see if he's got let me see if you have any better recipes tool crafting level three what is my tool crafting at here let me see just in case he can teach me something i need to know Tool crafting level two. See, I can skill. I can spend a skill point on that. I don't really need that. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let, let, let me. Let me. Here. Let me do this. <laughs> coil gun crafting. See, this got me a level seventy-five. So we're not there. So I would be able to make the coil rifle, coil sniper, both of which I would need. We need four more levels for that one. Shotguns good. Gun crafting. Can't do that yet either because we still need four more levels to get there. Dang. Okay, what about weapon crafting? It's level th Okay, so we could put one in right here. Melee and bows. That's still... If this counts as a melee weapon, which I'm probably sure it does, it probably wouldn't hurt to have one in there. Or is it bladed weapons? Um, I'm going to... I would assume that counts as a bladed weapon, would it not? Uh, I don't know. I need a whole lot more skill points than what I actually have. But this goes up by itself, so I don't have to use... Once I use this, it goes up on its own. I don't have to spend points on that. That's what I'm trying to say. I should probably put this into here because that would help me out. 
And uh, let me see. What was the other thing I was going to put in? Let's see. Was it science crafting? Would help with decreased crafting time. That could help out quite a bit. And now I'm going to put another one into better lead than dead. It'd faster reload, more damage, etc. All right. We're not going to have a whole lot of time left here. So better SP. Concrete mi mixing. Don't need that. Chemistry. Don't need that. Any other work. Never mind. Okay. So see if he has any jobs for us. They're all tier fours except for these down here. Uh, let me see. That one's a little bit south. Buried supply that's level south. That's not too bad. We can go do that one. If you agree to, well... <laughs> I really wish you'd stop whispering sweet nothings into my ear. Okay, so this is pretty close to where we've been before. We can go down there. Since we don't have a whole lot of time left in the day, I'm not going to accept a huge quest. Because um, basically I get over to get started and things get terrible and I have to just hide for the night. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to go down here. Why do I feel like I'm running so slow all of a sudden? I don't know why, but I feel like I'm barely trotting along. Uh, let me see. Go ahead and top you off and put the rest of it up in there. Okay, good to go. We got just a tiny, tiny little bit of a drive. It's not that far. We get down there. Uh, do have my shovel with me? Yeah, I do. Get down here, dig it up, see if we got anything good. Go return it, get the XP. And pretty much be close to done for the day. Now, tomorrow's day 70. So what I'll probably do is maybe do a little bit of repairs on the base. Um, I need to do some asking around. Maybe ask Kane. Uh, you know, Senor Kane, the man who actually made this mod. Hey! Not cool, yo. Not cool. And ask him about that whole reward thing. Because I've heard there's things that are glitched. And I've heard good things and bad things. He would probably be the one to know since he literally made this mod. Which, by the way, quick shout out to Kane here. If you're uh, not following him, he not only does he make the mod, but he makes, you know, he's a content creator himself and quite good at it. So, you know, go hit him up. I'll put a link to his channel in the video description down below. Go, uh, go check him out if you like what you see. Subscribe to him. As I said before, helping a channel that's growing is never a bad thing. And I can uh, give some love. He watches my videos, and uh, no hurt in sharing some love, right? So, yeah. Okay. Make sure we're cleared for a second. Make sure there's no stupido birds. All right. Southwest corner. It's going to be right over here. Let's see if we can't get this real quick, fast, and in a hurry. There it is. Sweet Jesus. That one took a while. Uh, it's not even worth all the effort I just put into mining out this entire area here. Okay. I hear what sounds like some people running. Let's see. Yeah, there's some people running. Excuse me, excuse me. We're just going to go ahead and bypass all of this because I just want to get back home. I just dug out enough. Oh, of course the bird's going to hit me. You suck, bird. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. When I walk, I feel like I'm going in slow motion. Okay, bird. Seriously. You jerk. All the other zombies are going to be able to catch me because you hit me. And I have an infection. <laughs> Man, this burial freaking quest here did more damage to me than trying to clear out the friggin' school. Yeah, it was uh, that was definitely not in the southwest corner of the dig hole, and if you saw how much room I had to clear out there, th there was a decent amount. It, it was a lot. How about you stop talking dirty to me every time I walk past here? I'm married. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested, dude. Alright, well, let's just get home, turn this quest in, drink some friggin' honey, fix our abrasion, because we're at an hour now. <gasps> It was a bad day in a hole. Let's put it that way. I have a cast in my bike so I can jump off and use it. I also have some honey too. But we're going to get home at least to the general area first. Didn't get as much done today. We dug a hole. We finished looting the school. We had a positive motivational speech. That's about the extent of it here. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Let me get what I need. Let me get one of you and one of you. Go ahead and use you. Get that abrasion working out here. That is not what I need for an abrasion, apparently. Go ahead and get the honey. That'll help with the infection. An abrasion, I need a first aid thingy, don't I? Pretty sure. First aid bandage. Does it count for a sterile bandage? It does. Bam. Goes from 58 minutes to 30 minutes. All right. That's not a big deal. I used the wrong one because I'm stupid. It's okay. All the chaos that went happened over there in that hole threw me off. You better give me something good for all of that. I lost the bed on this one. Pump shoddy, ammo, military boots, and a claw hammer. I don't need any of this crap. I'll take the ammo, probably, because it's useful. 
37 rounds? Sure, I'll take that. Do you have anything else that doesn't suck? Let's see. That's going to be over in the next town. That's going to be over in the next town. That's gonna, But all three of these are going to be over in the next town. So I might as well do... Let me see. A clear zombie is a little easier than a fetch. You. Util, oh, the waterworks plant, huh? Where's, oh, is that going to be over there in that... Oh, it's way over there. I don't want to do that. North is that way. This is northwest. I was hoping it's going to be over here. I don't want to go over there. Because I have to go off-road and drive all across the country. I don't want to do that one. Do you, do you have a better, a better job for me? Okay, you know what? I'm canceling this one. I don't care if you don't like it. We're going to get rid of this one. And done. Give me a better quest that's somewhere close to... Okay, how about a fetch and clear? This is north. Straight north, right? I have a job for you. Oh, you suck! Good luck. Okay, alright, so that is over in the other town, right? Right over there. Yeah, okay, so that's in the actual town. Did I never go get this? I never went to get that. Oh, crap, I need to get that tomorrow. We have that... I have that marked still, so I can go get that airdrop. But we're closing in on the end of the day here, so... Tomorrow, I guess we're heading over to the waterworks, see if we can clear that out. Um, I'm going to, well, maybe. If I do some research and come to find out that, yes, I can go talk to Eve and she can give me something else towards the storyline, because I can say, honestly, right now, I don't know what else I need to do as far as the storyline goes, and I don't want to actually do the wrong thing, you know? So anyway, we're just going to wrap this one up here, but hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, all that happy stuff, because you know I appreciate it. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.